partiers, it is your girl Tiffany. Back at you again with another video. And today, you guys, I am going to be showing you how to use the cookie candy molds, you guys. And being that it's Christmas time coming up, you guys, I have this little cookie candy mold from Wilton. It was made by Wilton. But it is a Christmas one. See, you guys. It's what is it? Santa's belt, I think. Let me see what this thing is. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, it looks like Santa's belt to me, you guys. But I am going to be showing you guys how to use these cookie molds, you guys. Um, and how to um, do a little detail in here, you guys. But let's jump into this video. Okay, you guys. So if you're going to be using one of these Oreo cookie molds, you guys, I know in my um, my intro part of the video, I just said cookie mold. But no, this is an Oreo cookie mold, you guys. But if you're going to be using this mold, of course, you're going to need your Oreos. And I get the double stuff Oreos just because um, I like using the double stuff ones, you guys. <laughs> um, and you're going to need your candy melts. And I'm just going to do the same color combo that they have on the front of this package, you guys. The red, yellow, and the black. Or you can use the chocolate candy melts for the... Um, black on this belt um so i got my red candy notes by wilton i have my yellow candy notes by wilton and i have some black ones you guys i also have my coconut oil and this i use um in my candy melts when i'm melting them it helps the chocolate um smooth out you guys so it isn't so thick uh it basically cuts the chocolate you guys so i use a little bit of this in my candy melts when i'm melting them i have my pyrex glass here you guys um which i'm going to be putting my candy melts in melting them and also you guys this is another oreo cookie mold and i i purchased this one off of um I think it was Amazon or eBay, one of those, you guys. But it has the six Oreo cookie cavities in here, molds in here, you guys. And this is like if you just want to do, if you don't want the um, details in the ones like this, and you just want to decorate them yourself, this is the mold to use. So, you guys we are going to jump into this video and what i'm going to do first is i am going to melt my not my red candy melt see what is going on today what i'm going to do is i'm going to be melting my yellow and my black uh candy melts you guys so I can go ahead and start on filling in this mold. So stay tuned, you guys. Okay, you guys. So I have my chocolate melted. The yellow I melted. And the black, you guys. I am going to start with the yellow, you guys. And before you use your cookie mold, you guys, make sure that you wash, wash it out um, before you use it. And I forgot to tell you guys what I'm going to use to be um, used for the details and putting the chocolate in here. I like to use these skewers right here. At first, I was using these little toothpicks, you guys. That's just because I like using them. And um, I like using the toothpicks and the skewers in my molds when I'm doing this. But you can use these two toothpicks. Or you can use the bigger skewers, you guys. It'll help you get a little more um, chocolate on there. With the little, sometimes with these little toothpicks, you'll be all day 
trying to draw your uh get your chocolate in where it's supposed to go but i am going to be using these so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill in let me show you guys i am going to do the yellow the belt buckle so i'm going to take my skewer and just dip it in here grab up some chocolate and I'm going to take it and I'm going to go right in between that belt buckle am I professional no I'm not you guys I just kind of taught myself how to do this but if I can help somebody out who who loves doing their own or doesn't mind doing DIY little projects this video is for you and no I didn't say I was perfect with doing this so don't judge me you guys <laughs> and I'm going to show you guys how I started in this buckle see you guys so I'm going to go ahead and add some more let me see if I can point my camera mm -hmm. I'm doing this let's see if you guys can see it that way I don't know if you guys can see it that way but I'm going to continue to fill the yellow in on this um cookie cavity and like I said you guys if you like doing DIY stuff like this your own DIY treats and stuff. This would be like a good project to do. And if you can save money, do it yourself. But if you don't have the patience, you got, if you don't have the patience, you guys, don't try it. Please don't try it. You will get frustrated. Trust me. Okay, you guys, so I got, I have two done so far, and I did, see, I told you I'm not perfect, I dropped a little smidge of, of yellow in a spot where it was not supposed to go, you guys, and that's what I'm talking about, having patience with this stuff. But you guys, type in the comments if you have the patience to do this. If you wouldn't mind doing something like this. Or if you would just rather hire somebody to, to do it, to do it. And that's how it is sometimes like if you're throwing a party or something and you don't feel like doing it or a lot of people some people just don't have the time um, to do this because they're so busy doing other things so it is in a way but it it is in a way um, kind of nice to have somebody do it for you but you know it's probably gonna be pricey you guys And also, you guys, tell me, 
do you guys do any um dessert boards or anything for uh christmas eve you guys or when your families um get together for holidays and stuff i know um my family i usually do um a lot of treats treats um around christmas you guys for my family we like to get together on um christmas eve and play games and stuff and um what did we do last year? no it wasn't last year i think it was the year before last what we did is we all went in together and bought gift cards you guys and we use those as our our little gifts and prizes for uh the christmas eve games that we play you guys and we did have gift exchange too you guys so we did a lot of fun things you guys but this is i have my yellow filled in you guys but i am going to have to take something to get see where i put that yellow at i got that yellow where it was not supposed to go so i am going to get that out of there you guys and i'll be back to do the black okay you guys so i'm back with the black candy melts and now what i'm going to do is on the santa belt i'm going to fill in the black belt part but you know what i forgot to tell you guys always let when you're doing these molds, the first color that you do, um, and it's like, just like this belt is close to, uh, the buckle is close to the belt, and I'm going to be working on that belt. I need to let this yellow dry a little bit, you guys, which I have um, done. I let it dry a little bit, so now I'm going to start on the black, just to let you guys know ahead of time. And you know what? I'm going to show you guys a little of putting a little. Why is my words? Why is my whole sentences messed up today? <laughs> I am going to fill in the black and I'm only going to show you guys um, a little bit of it. I'm not going to bore you with um, you watching me fill in all of these with this black. So here we go, you guys. So I'm just going to get those sides. See, it's very detailed, you guys. Very. This cookie mold is. As soon as I get enough on there, I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. get it on see how I had to oh, you guys can't see it let me show you you guys see how I had to where's it at there it is see right here that black inside can I get a good angle of this? Forgive me, you guys. There it is. See how I had to fill it, start filling in that black on the side right there, you guys. And I got a long process. I have to go. Let me turn this thing around. I know you guys are like, what is she doing? See, I got a long ways to go, you guys, filling in this belt. But, um... Like I said, if you don't have the patience, don't try this. I mean, you can try it, but if you don't have patience, I would not even attempt to do it. I'm sorry. Sorry, you guys. That's just how I feel about this. <laughs> but I am going to finish filling this in. You guys. And I will be back 
to show you um, when I let this dry and I add the red in. All right, you guys, so I am back. And I did finally finish filling in this um, candy, I mean this cookie mold. Um, but you guys, see what I mean when I said your chocolate might run and that you might not get it in there perfect, perfect. But you guys, you know what? See how it looks now? It really doesn't matter because when I turn this over, you can't even see any of this, how the chocolate is run together right here. So I'm going to, look, I'm just going to show you guys. See how it's running together. The black is running to the yellow. See that? Okay, now watch when I turn it around. See? Can't tell. You cannot tell, you guys. So, now what I'm going to do is I have melted my red, you guys. And what I'm going to do is my cookies handy while it's warm here. Okay, I have my cookies handy. So I'm just going to start pouring my red in here and I'm going to pour it halfway. Okay, you guys, so what I have did, I, I have poured um, just a little of the red in this candy, this cookie mold. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Oreo and I'm going to drop it in there. I drop this one in there. Drop one in here. And one more, you guys, we got to drop in there. So I have my Oreos in here. Now, you guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop them. Oh, see? Now, a, a lot of people, sometimes they make sure the back, the bottom is covered up. But see how I just left my like the cookie part right here, you guys. I like doing it like this because I like my Oreos to sit flat when I am doing a, um, a um, treat, a Oreo treat for uh, somebody, you guys. But we're gonna put these in the refrigerator and let them cool for uh, about a couple minutes, you guys. And I'm gonna bring them back out and show you. All right, you guys, so I have pulled my Oreos out of the um, the um, refridge, you guys. And now I am going to turn them over. I got some wax paper here, you guys, laying down. So I'm just going to turn this mold over. And hopefully they'll just pop out. I might have to push on it a little bit. There it goes. Gee, Whitaker's. There it goes. All right, you guys. So, here are, let me grab one. 
here are the Oreos, you guys. And see, you guys, they're not perfect. Because I do see a little black right there, you guys. But overall, it's good. Here's another one. See what I mean? Not perfect, perfect. So, what I'm probably going to do is, I don't know, you guys, if I like these. Look, I put my hand on my... <laughs> I don't know, you guys, if I like these. Um, what I might do is, I might just go ahead and fill this in with more red to cover up. I mean, what am I talking about? Fill this in with black, you guys. And just trying to spruce them up a little bit to my liking, you guys. But overall, they did come out nice, you guys. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, you guys. And like I said, when you when I take um, the video of these, you guys, I might just, before I take the video, I might go ahead and just fix this, these little uh, imperfections on here. But you guys will see it. You'll see if I fix them or you see, you'll, you'll see if I did not fix them. <laughs> but you guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And guess what? I will party with you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.